What up, y'all? It's the homie Dame, and you know, there's a lot to love about anime. The vast diversity in storytelling, cutting edge animation, beloved, memorable characters, you name it. But as weebs and otakus, we know that the real best part about anime is forming an unhealthy delusional relationship with a fictional 2D character. Aww, look at him tremble! He's gonna burst a blood vessel because I dissed his waifus! Yeah. Yes, waifu and husbando culture is in fact a big part of the anime and manga world. A lot of shows sell themselves on characters that embody all of your ideal traits and who will love you no matter what, even if you look like a demogorgon. So it's no surprise that otakus get a little antsy when the idea of an anime character being unfaithful comes up, because it's like, oh, they're not supposed to do that. You know, unless you're browsing one of those tags. But that's what we're gonna do today. I made a tier list and we're gonna rank a bunch of commonly simped for anime characters based on who would cheat and who wouldn't. A very serious, important topic. I know. More specifically, I made five categories. Would definitely cheat, would cheat, could go either way, wouldn't cheat, and definitely wouldn't cheat. Self-explanatory, right? This is going to be based on some educated guesses we can make from how they act in their series, so you already know this is about to be 100% scientifically accurate fact, because I mean, that's what I do, right? Like and subscribe. Um, I guess let's start with something that's relevant at the moment. Chainsaw Man, right? You guys like Chainsaw Man. Who doesn't like Chainsaw Man? Power would definitely cheat. Let's be real. And she'd like gaslight you about it too. Makima would definitely cheat. And she'd also definitely 100% gaslight you. Reza, I feel like it'd go either way. Who knows about her, honestly? All I know is for sure I wouldn't get too comfy if I was in a relationship with her. I mean, I don't know. That's all I'm going to say. Kobani probably... Ah, no, definitely wouldn't cheat. Um, but let me explain though, because that might be controversial. So y'all might be thinking you know she's a survivor she'll do whatever it takes to make sure that that she's good and if you ain't it she'll dip which you know i mean that's true but we also know that she's a huge pushover so she'd probably still stick with you even if you ain't shit plus i mean she'd be too scared to cheat let's be real would aki cheat definitely not because i mean listen when has a young man with their hair tied up in a bun ever done anything fuckboyish? uh okay since we started out with shonens let's continue on with gojo people love dick riding this dude in more ways than one but uh would he cheat if he was your man i don't know could go either way honestly i, I will say be wary of guys who you know cover up their eyes like that because like what do you gotta hide are you looking at other bitches or something? Nanami, not cheating. Let's be real. Nobody working overtime like that has time to cheat. Kogisaki would definitely cheat. And she'd post about it on Instagram too. Maki, she wouldn't cheat. She's a little too serious to be thinking of doing goofy shit like that. But who knows, man? It's always the ones you least expect. What about everyone's favorite assassin housewife, Your Forger? Another currently relevant waifu. I think everyone's first instinct would be to put Your here but i can see a world where she falls for the classic hentai trap of like well, well I'll, I'll do it if it's for my family lloyd wouldn't cheat though i'll say that for sure it's another case of like they're too serious to care about shit like that i don't think any of the kaguya sama girls would cheat even chica because i mean she's chaotic and everything but she's still like a lovey-dovey romantic at heart shirogane and ishigami wouldn't cheat um actually you know now that I think about it, Eno could go either way. You know, we know she got different sides to her, man. She just might fuck around and do something ignorant on, like, some spring break type shit. Now, this is the part that's gonna get me those angry comments. Let's do all of the Nakano sisters. Ichika would definitely cheat. I mean, like, she literally deceives multiple people in the show numerous times. I mean, as do all of the sisters, I guess. But, I mean, she's also an actress. I mean, you know, who knows what she's doing to get those roles, you feel me? Nah, I'm playing. But seriously, Nino would definitely not cheat. And okay, listen to my hypothesis here because I'm sure this will come up multiple times in the video. Sundares don't cheat. Repeat it after me, Sundares don't cheat because the whole point of them is that the, the sun or cold side is always more prevalent at first, right? They start off hating you and thinking lowly of you and trying to paint you in the worst light in their head like, oh, I can't possibly be in love with him. He's a broke, whack, hairline, having little dick ass bitch, ooh, baka. So if you can get to their dare side after all that, it's a lock because they've already been hating on you now so all those hidden lovey-dovey feelings are out they're not going anywhere because like the whole point of sundares is that they don't actually hate you right so how whack would it be if they were like yeah fuck you i don't even want to hang out with you and then they actually dip 
I mean, then that's just real life. So yeah, Cinderace don't cheat. Nino is a Cinderace. She's definitely not cheating. Miku definitely wouldn't cheat. I'm pretty confident in saying that. She's just a nice girl. Yotsuba definitely wouldn't cheat. She's she's too innocent and stupid to even understand the concept of that. But I mean, that being said, I can see her being easily deceived. Like, you know what I mean? Like if she's out drinking in Rapungi late at night, she's definitely the type to get tricked into starring in an amateur porno. But I don't think she'd willingly, maliciously cheat on anyone. Itsuki would cheat. Someone comes along with that all-you-can-eat buffet pass and says, you know, what you willing to do for this, girl? And it's over for you, bro. I'm sure she'd feel bad about it afterwards, though. Marin Kitagawa, I mean, she wouldn't cheat. She might be a little corrupted from playing all those degenerate arrow games, but... Uh, she should be cool. Komi could go either way, I'd say, because, I mean, it's pretty easy to get away with cheating if you just keep your mouth shut. Listen, y'all, it's the quiet ones that you don't know about, because at least with a Sundere, even though the joke is that they aren't honest with their feelings, at least they talk enough to where you can at least get a feel for where they're at, but if someone is just too shy or reserved, it's impossible to really know what they're thinking, right? Is Levi Ackerman cheating? Um, definitely not, I'd say. Ladies, your short king is safe. I think he's the type to just stay his ass at home, anyway. Mikasa, let's be real, she's not doing nothing. Aaron's not doing nothing. Armin's probably cool too. Damn, I mean, the, uh, the Attack on Titan cast is pretty wholesome in this regard, considering how wild the rest of the show is. Rem, she ain't cheating. Yandere's go hand in hand with the Sundere's and that they don't cheat. Because I mean, how corny would you look doing the most for some dude and then you just cheat on him? Amelia wouldn't. She's, she's too selfless. But I mean, I, I can see a world, I can see the vision where if you're not treating her right, she'd let you know about it. And if you don't get it together, you might, I don't know, man, you might fuck around and see her downloading Tinder or something, so who knows. Subaru would definitely cheat, because only like the fuckiest of the fuckboys talks about some, you're number one in my heart and you're number two in my heart. Like, he had to have got that one from Future or something, because that is toxic. Let's see, who are some classic OG picks here? Makise is a Sundere. Sundere's don't cheat. Misato would definitely cheat. Asuka would definitely cheat. Um, actually, everyone in Evangelion would cheat because, I mean, you know what they say, infidelity is the best cure for crippling depression. Hollow would definitely cheat. Not out of anything malicious or anything, but, I mean, she's a wolf, you know, where, where there's prey, she's bound to strike. I don't know what the analogy is there, sorry. Is Nami cheating? 100%, and she's not feeling bad about it either. Nico Robin could go either way though she seems relatively cool but i don't know she got that energy to her where she could while out if she's not feeling you enough roy mustang would cheat but with an asterisk because if you've watched the show you know his womanizing is just like a front so he'd cheat to keep appearances but you know it's up to you whether that really counts or not tuxedo mask is definitely not cheating but it's for lame reasons like like reincarnating and finding your soulmate and falling in love with them again like ugh. when i reincarnate i want it to be like a gotcha game roulette like hmm who am i gonna end up with in this life oh my soulmate this time is beyonce oh my god how lucky let me think um what other anime husbands do y'all like all Might, his ass is not cheating, bro. That's the one you want to start a family with. Hawks, definitely cheating and would gaslight you about it. Endeavor, he would cheat, but only for some dumbass reason. Like he found a partner with a superior quirk to Brie or whatever weird shit he's on. Aizawa, you might think wouldn't cheat because, you know, he sticks up for Bakugo. He seems to have a little thing going on with Miss Joke. You know, he's a loyal dude. But as someone who has many friends who are teachers in Japan, I, I mean, this is just anecdotal, but apparently they'd be out there doing some crazy things after class. You know, the, the kind of things you can't let the students know about. You feel me? Like they get done grading papers and then it's off to Rapungi. So Aizawa, man... Who knows about him? How about some fate characters? Rin Tosaka, Sundere, not cheating. And no, this isn't because I'm trying to rationalize it because she's my favorite anime girl. It's just like I told y'all, man. Sundere's don't cheat. You know what though? They probably do some other shit too, like tease you by pretending to flirt with other dudes to get you jealous, like on that annoying shit where it's like, yeah, let me test my man to see how much he really wants me. Haha, -ha, if he doesn't get jealous, he doesn't love me. Oh, Christ. That might actually be worse than cheating. Hold on. <laughs> Saber, definitely not cheating. Pretty sure that's written somewhere in the in the chivalry handbook that all kings of England gotta read. The chivalry handbook. Wouldn't that just be the Bible? I mean, the Bible is just about as violent as the Vate series, so I mean, it makes sense. Gilgamesh, definitely cheating. Are you kidding me? Does he look like he gives a fuck about monogamous relationships? Archer, he's definitely cheating too. He literally dips on Rin in Fate Stay Night. And he gaslight too, like, oh, I was just doing it because I knew you could handle it. Yo, dude, the men in the Fate series are kind of trash. What about, uh, let's see, what about the Konosuba girls? Aqua, 
I mean, do I even need to say? She's the type to cheat on you and talk about like how whack your dick is with the guy she's cheating with. Megumin, she would cheat because I don't know. I can't put my finger on it, but something tells me it wouldn't really bother her conscience. I don't know. Darkness definitely wouldn't cheat, though she canonically wants to be cheated on, but I mean... That's a whole nother can of worms to unpack. Uh, okay, what about Naruto? Is he not a cheating? No, definitely not. Despite all the doujins and Raikage fan art, Hinata is definitely not cheating. Oh, man. Naruto would cheat, though. He'd do it on some slick shit, too. Like, he'd be, you know, giving his girl the pipe and have his shadow clones three villages away running a train on some other chick. Sasuke wouldn't cheat, but then again, I don't think he'd care about that kind of thing. Sakura, I think, definitely wouldn't cheat either. I know she'd be kind of thirsty sometimes times but she seems loyal Eno, on the other hand is for the streets man she definitely cheat i have no canon evidence to support this but all i know is you know my boy sai gotta keep a lookout man that's all tsunade could go either way i can see her being one of those like you ain't shit so let me go fuck some other dude to put you in your place you know those type of people but she could also just be like a wholesome partner so i don't know now uh to end things off i figured i'd add one more tier for the most wholesome purest of the pure characters who would never do anything to betray their partners in this tier we can put mommy from rent a girlfriend mine from rising of the shield hero makoto from school days akane from scum's wish and of course the famously monogamous Joseph Joestar. Oh, you know who like unironically should go in that tier though? Fucking Chi Chi from Dragon Ball. Cause like Goku, we all know Goku not shit, but the fact that she stays with his ass and is, you know, a loyal partner to him, get you a Chi Chi, man. And on the other hand, you know, get you a Vegeta too, because we know Bulma had her had her hoe phase. We don't know what she'd be doing. She seems cool now, but hey, Vegeta's always been loyal to her, so 